Remember what you do on one side, you do the other. Variable. We want to solve for y. 
Roger, do you, can you tell me and give, give a guess? Well, well, how do we solve for y? Plug it in. So after you solve for one of the variables, all you got to do is plug this variable into either one of these equations. Either one. I'll, I'll choose the first one. So 2, the x, so I'll plug in the 5, plus y equals 9. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus y equals 9. I want to get the y by itself. Exactly. Subtract 10 on both sides. y equals negative 1. You guys writing this down? You guys writing this down? Slide. Example two. So what do I, what do I want to do here? I want to choose a variable to cancel out first. In this case, I want to cancel out the x. But we can't cancel it yet because we want they're both positive. In order to cancel, you always have to add. So how would I be able to cancel this x? What do I have to do with one of the x's? Can you guess? Make it negative. Jamisha, how would I make how would I make the x negative? Any, any thoughts? Is that how you do it? I would multiply it by negative one. Correct. So I uh, I'll just multiply this one by negative one. And remember what this negative one will be multiplied throughout the whole equation. So those would become positives. So this will become negative x plus 2y equals 9, right? Is the negative 1 carried over to all three of these? And then the second equation, I can just bring it down and rewrite it right here. x plus 3y equals Now, if you see, you have the negative x and the positive x. So when I add these two, the x's will cancel out easily. Cancel these out. So now I'm just, all I have to do is solve for y. 2y plus 3y, 5y. What's my next step? I have the y. What do I do with that? You plug your answer back in. Which equation? Any equation. Any equation. So I'll just uh, choose this one. Just so I feel like it. So it'll be x plus 3. And we have the y here, remember? So we plug in the 5 here. Equals 16. x plus 3 times 5 is 15, equals 16. I want to get the x by itself. So I subtract the 15 on both sides. The 
these two cancel out. And I'm left with x equals 1. So here, why would I choose an x here and not the y? And then my second point, why would I decide to cancel out the uh, x's? Because they are along Keep going. Because sure. they're alike. I chose the easiest two to cancel out. I'm like, oh, these two are already x's, so I just have to make one of those negative. I could have canceled out the y, but I would just complicate things. Because they're not the same thing. I would have I would have to make these two like terms first, and that's just a whole other process. But I already have two like terms here. I'm like, oh, I'll just make one of them negative. Question. Can you go back to the first example? Yeah. I feel like I wrote something wrong. So for example, here, see what I had the y's already? They're the like terms. So I was like, oh, that's easier. So I'll just, it's easier to cancel out the y's because they're already the same. Mm -hmm. I just have to, and one of them's already positive, one of them's already negative for me. So I don't really have to multiply the negative and negative again. So those cancel out, and then I had 2x plus 3x <coughs> added together. But you see these two here? These two are not the same. So, I, so that's, that's probably the harder one. I could do it, but it'll just take more steps. And in example three, we'll see uh, how exactly, what happens, what do we do if we don't have a like term? How do we make uh, both equations the same? You have any questions? Example three. Tara, what do you notice about these two equations? True. What do you what do you notice about these the coefficients? They're the same. Hmm? They're the same. They are? Are these two the same? The one got a negative with it. One got a negative one got a positive. True. Well, I mean, you do that x and y x and y. They have different coefficients, because this four x is not the same as this negative three x, right? And this three y is not the same as that eight y, right? So if I want to cancel out the x, I have to get the same coefficient on both of them, on both equations. So let's say I want to cancel out the x. I can't cancel them out yet because they're not the same coefficient. So how do I make those two the same coefficient? Yes. Yeah? So I would multiply both equations so that I can somehow get the, these two coefficients matching. So as Destiny said, you would multiply Destiny. Darrell, thank you. Sorry about that. I'm just saying. As Darrell said, I would multiply this equation by 3 and this bottom equation by 4. What happens if I do that? There will be a matching coefficient. Thank you. So, 3 times 4x? Well, I negative. Uh, I could. But remember, I also want the coefficients to be negative and positive. Oh, okay. That way, they'll cancel out when they get added, right? So, exactly. You multiply everything times 3. So, this first equation would be 12x minus. 9y equals 75. Do the same thing to the bottom. That 4 times negative 3 will become a negative 12. Notice that now they're the same coefficient and they're opposite signs. That's, what, that's the goal here. Same coefficient, opposite signs, and that way you can cancel them out. Four goes on to this one. Thirty-two y. Four into the tenth. Let 
now I have my two new equations, and they're ready to be uh, canceled out. What do I do next? I add them. The 12x and the negative 12x cancel out. This becomes negative 23. Negative 23. Why? When you add these two up. Oh, it would be positive. Yes, right. Thank you. Positive 23y. And that will become 